Investigators are still trying to figure out what led up to a horrible crash that left a mother and her three daughters dead. Last night in DeKalb County, their SUV went off the interstate, rolled down an embankment, and then was crushed by a train. News Channel 15's Chris Hopper spent the day there, and Chris, miraculously, someone did survive this wreck. Yeah, there was a baby in the car. Amazingly, all it has is a broken leg. Today, I got an up-close look at what's left of the car, and it's hard to believe anyone survived. News Channel 15 captured this exclusive video last night of the horrifying scene in Waterloo. When police arrived, they found a car smashed underneath a freight train. Inside was a 45-year-old mother from Michigan, her three teenage daughters, and a baby, the only one to survive. Today, this is all that's left of the Kia SUV they were driving. Exploded airbags, busted windows, a baby seat, and a bottle sit in the middle of the wreckage as a coat hangs down the side. Police say the car was headed north on I-69 when it veered off the road, drove through the grass, over the dirt embankment, and it landed a couple hundred feet down on some railroad tracks. Moments later, the train hit the car, leaving a trail of destruction that was nearly 2,000 feet long. It is a very unusual accident. Um, it, it's hard on the first responders that were there, but I can say um, our guys when they were very professional, did a fantastic job. From our officers to the state police that were there and, and the fire department, they all did a, a great job. All four women died at the scene. They are 45-year-old Barbara Pearson, her 19-year-old twin daughters Bessie and Margaret, and her 14-year-old daughter Elizabeth. All of them are from Howell, Michigan. At this time, police have no idea how this happened. Chris Hopper, News Channel 15.